All right, here's what we're looking at right now. You can see that uh, we're going to be mild through the midweek, and then we have that Arctic surge working on into eastern parts of New Mexico with dangerous wind chills. This will be Thursday on into Friday morning. So uh, as we look at the overall pattern, tomorrow is a good thing to good time to shore things up. Look at the high clouds we had more oil across the area today. Uh, we do have this clearing trend, so it's going to be a better afternoon tomorrow with the sunshine to the north of the area. You do see uh, the bitter Arctic air that's spilling on into Billings on into Bismarck and let me show you the movement of this. So we're going to see it to the north of our area Wednesday and then Thursday. Well, really late Wednesday night on into Thursday. It's going to pour on into northeastern parts of New Mexico with uh, bitterly dangerous wind chills. So make sure that you limit your time outside and dress warmly if you venture outside. If you're outside, don't be out there for all that long. And then the colder air starts to work into southeastern parts of the state. So let's walk you through how this is going to play out. First of all, for tomorrow, most of us will wake up with the sunshine. There'll be some low clouds and patchy fog over southeastern parts of New Mexico. Now, as we get into the afternoon, this looks like a pretty good day statewide. It's going to be better than what we had today. Temperatures are going to edge up a little bit more. We won't have the cloud cover around like we did today, but there's that Arctic front lurking to the north, so it's going to work in overnight tomorrow and then plow through northeastern parts of the state. And these are the daytime highs. Five in Clayton for a high, 10 in Raton, and 17 to 18 from Tucumcari on into Clovis with very little impact central and western parts of the state. Now look how early these wind chills start to kick in with that Arctic front. This is 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Already a minus 27 reading throughout Clayton, minus 11 in Clovis. And then as we get into the afternoon and evening, that cold air works into southeastern parts of the state and still bitter cold northeast eastern sections of New Mexico. Now, as we go into Friday, notice that we have a mixture of clouds and sunshine as a, another weather disturbance kicks across the area, but that bitter cold for the daytime highs continues over eastern parts of New Mexico with highs only in the teens and 20s, but it does improve over the Christmas weekend. You'll see 40s throughout the Four Corners region, and then we have increasing winds as we roll on into Thursday with a couple of snow showers possible by Friday. Southwest, the bitter Arctic air won't be in play pretty much from the Rio Grande Valley eastward. You'll see temperatures around Silver City dropping in the 40s and then bouncing up thereafter. But having said that, uh, places like Alamogordo, 56 degrees, they look to be in the upper 30s as we go on into Friday. You'll see mild weather tomorrow in Roswell, increasing winds, some bitter wind chills kicking in as we showed you, and then six for a low on Friday with a high of 27 degrees, but it does rebound over the weekend, which is a great thing. Northeastern parts of the state, enjoy tomorrow because you got to really hunker down by Thursday. Thursday as those uh, dangerously cold wind chills start to kick in and with less wind, it's still going to be bitter cold one to start a high of 28 with a few snow showers skirting the area and throughout the northern part of the state 37 tomorrow over in the Chama area high of 45 degrees increasing winds lower daytime highs in Santa Fe and with it 36 for a high on Friday with a couple of snow showers in the area and throughout the metro region we will have temperatures in the 20s and daytime highs warming into the 40s and 50s so looking pretty good in the afternoon for the start of winter, the official start. Uh, winds will pick up on Thursday, kicking us up to 51 degrees and cooler on Friday with mostly cloudy skies and improving Christmas Eve, Christmas Day on into Monday and Tuesday. So this is the calm before the storm, but really going to get hit hard over eastern New Mexico with that cold air, Shelley. All right.